Hello everyone, I'm Helen Exum. I'm a prevention educator for Twin County Recovery Services. That means that I teach prevention education in grades kindergarten through eighth in Greene County. And my name is Mary Minahan, and I am the prevention educator for Columbia County. I work for Catholic Charities of Columbia and Greene Counties. And Helen and I are both members of the Columbia Green Addiction Coalition. Today we're going to talk about the risk and protective factors. So many factors influence a person's likelihood of using drugs. Risk factors are these that make drug use more likely, while protective factors are those that make drug use less likely. Both risk and protective factors fall into five different areas, community, family, school, the individual, and their peers. Correct. Let's start with risk factors. They're the characteristics at the biological, physiological, family, community, or cultural level that put a person at a higher risk for use. So in other words, they're the things that, that create the problem that we're working on. All right, so in the community, um, the one risk factor is poverty. Um, another is easy availability of alcohol and or drugs. And a third is a social attitude that is favorable toward drug and alcohol use. Right, and within the family setting, we're looking at things like, is there a lack of structure? Is it dysfunctional? Is there a history of problem behavior within the family? Is there a lot of family conflict? Also, we want to think about, do the parents or guardians have, do they view drug or alcohol use as acceptable? Absolutely. Um, school, schools have, have another area there where we're going to be a, a, an area of concern. Children are failing, with failing or suffering from poor grades. Uh, children who fail to uh, participate in school activities and have a low commitment to school are at higher risk. Right. And then uh, with the individual or their friends, some of the risk factors there are, did they start using drugs or alcohol at a young age? Do they think it's okay to use drugs or alcohol? And do they see it as not dangerous? Um, another thing mm. to consider is, are there other problem behaviors, and is there depression? Those are all risk factors. Right. So we've just talked about the risk factors, those that make drug use more likely. Now we're going to talk about protective factors, those that make drug use less likely. Correct. And protective factors fall into the same five settings yes. as, as the risk factors did. These are the, the factors that promote healthy youth development and assist the kids in navigating the, their teen years more, a lot more successfully. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at, at the communica uh, communities and the school domains. Um, these provide, or can these can provide and should provide um, act opportunities for uh, youth uh, participation, and these participation needs to be rewarded and acknowledged while, it, while it's happening. It's mm -hmm. important that we notice and recognize the kids who are making good choices because, you know, we want to give them plenty of opportunities to make those good choices and participate in activities like um, theater, uh, perhaps uh, clubs, uh, youth groups, and sports. Yeah, all I, of these things, you know, are factors that are, are valuable to them. Yes, and then within the um, family setting, some protective factors could be providing a sense of belonging, setting clear, strong boundaries, um, having open communication between the adults and the young people, and also it's never too early for the parents or guardians to start that prevention discussion with their young people. Some examples within the friend or peer and individual settings are uh, belief in a higher power, knowing right from wrong, um, spending time with friends that are also making good decisions, um, managing emotions, setting goals, and learning to get along with others. Those are all protective factors. Absolutely. Those are all factors that we teach in school um, as well. So Helen, at what stage of development are children at highest risk of using drugs? Research indicates that during periods of, of major transition, the kids are at, at the highest risk. Mm -hmm. So for instance, uh, moving from elementary into middle school, moving from middle into high school, uh, meeting the new populations, having different social activities uh, in which they have to adjust themselves, and being introduced possibly for the first time to drugs and alcohol are all, all serious risk factors. There's also times of transition within a family too though, like 
for example, death or divorce or incarceration. So it's during these times of transition that it's extra important to, to pay attention um, and basically watch for the risk factors and then apply the protective factors. Absolutely. We hope you found this discussion about risk and protective factors valuable. For more information, please visit the website at Columbia Green Addiction Coalition.